Hey guys, welcome back. Um, don't mind my whole attire and the boxes that are here right next to me. I am in the process of moving and getting everything ready to move to our new house. And then I'm also planning Nathan's first birthday party. So I am being pulled every which way to get all of this stuff done. So excuse my look. This is, this is what you're gonna be seeing for the next couple of weeks because I have a lot on my hands and I just don't have time to get full makeup ready i just don't have time for that but i did want to quickly sit down and chit chat with you guys about one thing that is super super important which is my top five newborn sleep essentials and this is super important because this is what helps get them in a routine get them figuring out you know what's daytime sleep what's nighttime sleep to help them sleep longer stretches so these were five things that i used all the time when Nathan was a newborn, they really helped him sleep and it just was, these things were great. A lot of these things really did help him sleep. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the Nuggle Me Infant Sleeper or Lounger. I don't remember what it's called exactly. This thing was amazing. I will say this is not for nighttime sleep. You should never, ever, ever co-sleep with this. This isn't meant to be used unsupervised. This is only for daytime supervised sleeping because it is a suffocation hazard. You definitely do not co-sleep with this. Do not leave baby unsupervised in this. This is only if you're going to be next to baby or watching baby while they sleep. But this was definitely something that Nathan loved because it just kind of hugged him. He really just felt snuggled up because it has this sort of like womb feeling where he's just nice and tight in that little lounger. He loved it. He slept in it all the time during the day. It was the best way to get him to nap. The next thing that was a super big essential for us was having a bassinet. The bassinet, for me at least, was super essential because he was right next to the bed. I didn't have to get up to go get him. It was just such a great way to have him close by so that I didn't have to get up every five seconds. And he slept great in it. He loved the bassinet. I never had any issues with babies. It's kind of hit or miss. Some babies hate it, some babies love it. And Nathan definitely loved it. I loved it because it was so convenient. He was sleeping there right next to me. So definitely the bassinet was a huge, huge thing for us. We loved it. We used it up until he started rolling, which was at around four months. And then after that, we moved him, of course, into his crib. Another huge essential for us were Velcro swaddles. We were awful at doing the traditional swaddles with the swaddle blankets. They never worked for us. He wiggled his way out of it every single time. So I tried two different swaddles. I tried the, I don't remember if it's called the Love me it's like the swaddle that has the two hands up hated it he didn't like it he would sometimes sleep in it during the day but he wasn't a fan of it i don't know why because he likes to sleep with his hands up but he just hated that swaddle so we ended up getting the velcro swaddles and he loved them he slept very long stretches up until he couldn't fit into them anymore and then we had to switch him to a sleep sack but that velcro swaddle was amazing we got the halo velcro swaddles because it swaddled him at first but then it transitioned kind of into a sleep sack so he still got that tight fit but his hands just weren't in them so he definitely loved that i loved it because i didn't have to buy swaddles and then a sleep sack it's just a two in one and it was the best thing ever the next thing that was a miracle worker for us was the baby shusher i don't know what it is about this thing that babies love it i don't know what it is that it puts them right to sleep there were a lot of times that nathan just would not go to sleep he would just stare at you and he would just not go to sleep so the minute that we put that baby shisher on he was out in five minutes i don't know what it is about it but it was a miracle worker and it really did help him go to sleep the last thing that i have on this list that we actually still use to this day is the hatch sound machine it's the best sound machine i travel with it whenever we go out of town and he has to sleep out i love that thing he uses it for naps he uses it for nighttime sleep it's the best thing because it's this constant white noise that he loves i think his favorite is the crashing waves it's the best sound machine he sleeps with it still to this day and it really just helps soothe him to sleep especially some nights where he does wake up in the middle of the night but he never cries he just looks for his pacifier and he goes right back to sleep because he has that familiar sound of the crashing waves so that's why i have to travel with my hatch sound machine and then i do want to add which i know not all babies are a big fan of but a pacifier was 
also a huge essential for us to get him to go to sleep, especially when we were sleep training him because the pacifiers would really soothed him. The good thing with him was he's not one of those babies where he has a pacifier, but then the minute it falls out of his mouth, he wakes up. It just kind of helps him soothe him to sleep and then he sleeps the whole night without the pacifier. It just falls right out of his mouth. We are gonna try to transition him out of the pacifier, but right now I let him have his pacifier whenever he wants to sleep during the day. But once he does hit a year, I am going to restrict his pacifier to only nighttime sleeps. So we will see how that's gonna go. But yeah, I just wanted to share those essentials with you because they really did help Nathan learn how to sleep. Everything is down to your nighttime routine, the things that you use every single day. The thing with newborns is routine. You have to do the same thing every single day. You have to use the same things every single day in order for them to get that routine down. So these things were super, super huge with Nathan. He used them every single day while he was a newborn. It really helped his transition. And now he is an amazing sleeper. He's always been a really good sleeper. And I feel like it's because of these things because it really helped him transition into the great sleeper he is now. Nathan sleeps 12 hours during the night. He goes to bed at around 7.30, 8 o'clock and doesn't wake up until 7 a.m. the next day. So he is a great sleeper. A lot of it did have to do with sleep training, of course, but these things also helped as well as a really good nighttime routine. So if you ever wanna know what our nighttime routine looks like, if you ever wanna know how I sleep trained him, I can always make a video of that because sleep is such an important thing for babies to just help them learn how to sleep. I hope this video really helped you guys out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to become part of our family. Hit that notification button so you know when I post next. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.